2018 Hyundai Accent Interior Review. The Accent's grown-up interior seems well-built, but it lacks the cheeky style of the Kia rear or the rear seat spaciousness of the Honda Fit which provides nearly 6 inches of additional rear legroom. Most drivers will find the controls intuitive, and outward visibility is good for this segment. Interior Space Comparisons Front seat passenger space is satisfactory and class competitive, but rear seat passengers aren't so lucky. Rear legroom is far more limited than in rivals such as the Nissan Versa or the cavernous Honda Fit. Interior features, sporting a frill-free interior design, the accent is uncomplicated and honest. Both of our test cars wore a black interior, which, although well-built, provided a somber, business-like appearance. The optional beige interior imparts a richer feeling with two-tone tan and black seats and a similar treatment for the dash and door panels. Very few interior panels are soft to the touch, but the vast expanses of hard plastic are nicely grained and don't feel cheap. Base SE models offer no center armrest, which may annoy some drivers. Choosing the SEL or limited trim rectifies that issue. The SE offers few interior luxuries, but the SEL trim adds a manual telescoping function to the manual tilt steering wheel a 7.0-inch infotainment display, an extra USB charging port, and the center armrest with an integrated storage bin. Move all the way up to the limited model and treat yourself to a sunroof, heated front seats, automatic climate control, and a leather-wrapped steering wheel and shift knob. Interior sound level, modern cabins do an excellent job of insulating passengers from ambient noise but none can completely eliminate the sharp sound of the wind and the drone of tire noise when you're traveling at highway speed. To measure the interior sound pressure level, we use a Bruel and Jair Type 2250L sound meter, which we position in the middle of the first row of seats at the height of the driver's ear. The meter automatically averages 15 seconds of sound in A-weighted decibels DVA, taken while the test car is cruising at 70 mph. A-weighting is an industry standard that adjusts decibel readings to better reflect how the human ear hears various frequencies. We take two measurements and average the results. We also correct for speedometer inaccuracies with our GPS-based data loggers. It is worth noting that decibels are a logarithmic unit, so a rating of 40 decibels isn't twice the sound pressure of 20 decibels. It is 10 times the sound pressure. A 6 decibel increase roughly doubles the sound pressure. Test results. Interior sound levels at 70 mph. Seating and step in height. To accurately measure seating height the distance from the road to the driver's hip we use an H-point machine, HPM, a precisely engineered device marketed by SAE International. This versatile tool, in conjunction with a laser device, reveals the width and location of roof pillar visibility obstructions, Blind spots Our HPM and laser measurement tools determine the length of road obscured by the hood as well as the road obscured by the trunk or hatch, as seen through the rearview mirror. Blind spots, visibility, and obscured roadway. Outward visibility is not class leading, but most drivers will find few things to complain about. The SE and Limited trims come with an integrated blind spot mirror on the driver's side to help minimize risk when merging onto the highway. Although active blind spot monitoring is not offered on any accent model, roof pillars protect occupants in a rollover crash, but they also create blind spots. We determine visibility by measuring the location and width of each pillar using an H-point machine and a laser beam, circuits for a driver and eyeball, respectively. Front and rear visibility are calculated by subtracting the viewable area blocked by the pillars from a perfect 180-degree score.